as you all know, I recently shut down my business called the Coco Times, and I'm here to tell you why. And why I want to tell you why is because I want to let you all know what mistakes I made, so that if you are doing the same, you will not have to do it. So if you are someone who's running a business or wants to start one, then stay till the end. And if you're here just to know what mistakes Neha did and why she failed, you're welcome too. So first things first, I started uh, TCT in August 2020 and I decided to shut it down in August 2021. So one year. Now, what was TCT about? It was about good quality handcrafted real chocolates whose selling price started at rupees 200 for 50 grams. Now, please note that all these are my opinions or my thoughts on what I should or shouldn't have done. So take it only if it sits with you, and if it doesn't sit with you, then. तुम गलत नहीं हो. बस मुझसे बहुत अलग हो. And so in the past eight years, I had started my business thrice and shut it down thrice. Uh, so the universe when I uh, started TCT I, up there would have been like. Okay, so let's begin. My first mistake that I did was not identifying my ideal target market and target audience. My product price was rupees four per gram, and the audience which I chose to sell it to was getting it from others at fifty paise per gram, fifty paise per gram, and uh, the difference was. 3.5 paise which equals to rupees 25 for the same quantity of chocolate bar that i was offering so why would anyone shell out rupees 175 extra for the same thing that they think is no different uh, obviously it was different i was offering them chocolate and uh, at 50 paise you can only get compound but now again another thing that goes hand in hand with this is that uh, it was my responsibility to make my audience aware of the difference of the quality of of the product so one create awareness number two create it where it matters to the audience or to the market who would be willing and can the priorities who can and will be willing to shed out the 175 rupees extra for the quality of product that you offer and uh, one second notes are here so ha huh, and then uh, you know create awareness to those people who can not and won't purchase from you now but then they would be willing to make the trans transition in the future for their own good and if you are someone who is still using compound to uh, you know uh, in their cakes cookies and etc uh, i would really request you to start uh, using real chocolate Uh, introduce it into your menu. Start small with like cookies or brownies, and then into cakes, cupcakes. So, and once the uh, the taste and that product sits into your uh, you know clients' hearts and tongues, then you can start it wholly. Compounds are really not healthy. They have hydrogenated vegetable fats in large amount, and we don't know who consumes it. Kids, older people, adults, and it's not good for either of them so if you want to use it in decorations probably uh, that is also up to you i would not suggest it but uh, i know it requires tempering so yeah and uh, you can use it for fillings frostings uh, because in that chocolate is used in like large quantities so when you put uh, when you're consuming compound in large quantities it really does not sit with your health And uh, one second, done. So the second huge mistake I did was I waited for perfection. If I had thought that you know there would be seven uh, variants under the chocolate bar category, then until and unless there are seven variants ready, I would not begin to take orders. That was my huge mistake. So if you have even two products. Start taking orders. You know that puts you on the map. It keeps you alive in the market. And then when you introduce new variants, new products, uh, people see your growth. That builds faith. Then you get your new potential customers. Your your revenue has uh, isn't being stopped in the middle uh, when you're not taking orders. And your half time is spent on R and D. Half time is uh, spent on orders. Everything is divided equal. You have a purpose to go to work every day. You form goodwill. So. 
don't wait for perfection don't wait for the edges to be sharp know that the round edges would do just fine until and unless it's tasty and delicious and presentable enough do not wait for perfection now third and one of the most important things to keep in mind is don't invest too much you know what your too much is you know uh, invest in something that that is of the best quality and make it a one time worthy investment but uh, know your boundaries you know uh, if you are uh, working from a space and uh, and work it work it out from there until the last drop if it's beginning to you know get impossible to work at then only you know think of investing for the other place this goes for almost everything don't impulse buy if it uh, don't indulge in impulse buying because uh, it does more harm than good i mean if you don't have to use that product for another 2 to 4 weeks do not buy it believe me i have invest i had invested big time and i will forever stand to regret it the monthly expenses and maintenance are no joke when your revenue is near to none right and i'm not saying this because uh, you know you can't do it or if you invest too much uh, you you would fail that is that is bullshit what's true is that the pressure that comes along with investing too much it kills your you know it kills your passion it kills your ideas now that is something that has happened for me it might not happen for you you may be someone who works uh, nicely under pressure and pressure makes you work more so you do you but i'm just saying what didn't work for me the next is that don't run behind money all it does is kills your passion because you, then you forget why you started in the first place you know and i did it and the moment you start chasing money it just goes farther away uh, farther away from you know that the money would come to you because it belongs to you and you deserve it but don't just uh, run a business for the only purpose of money and definitely don't prioritize it to the top okay and number 5 is don't have only goals i had so many goals balti bhar bhar ke goals i had but i had no plan like none at all i had no business sense so before you start business at least if even if you don't know how to run a business at least start to learn along the process you know don't think that you know it all uh, we think we know it all but then we enter into it and then the truth hits hard like very hard so unless you learn the abc's of business you can't make plans to reach your goals so uh, learning business is a skill that like it it may, uh, helps you make a map you know and the lanes are the plans and the buildings and the landmarks are like each goal you complete while walking down the road to reach your ultimate destination wow <laughs> okay so i knew how to make my product taste better but what i didn't know and why i failed was because i didn't know how to sell them and when you run a business aur kya zaroori hai batao okay and the sixth is don't rush you have time go slow one thing that i have learned from my failure is that you know slowly is the fastest way to reach where you want to reach so rushing into things or hurrying up just brings up chaos and makes you lose control and you know confuses you so much so give yourself and your business time know that it will you know ace the race at its own pace it's not a race it just triumphed well so okay uh, and uh, so we all grow together also don't compare yourself to others others are unique and so are you and which brings us to the last mistake i didn't believe in myself so believe in yourself you know you would not believe me but uh, i have been baking since i can remember that's about uh, it's been probably more than 11 years but i never ever confidently called myself a baker never and when i am not confident in myself how would others show confidence in myself or my products you know uh I always thought that how can I call myself a baker you know like bakers do so many things I just do like one thing you know I don't know this I don't know that I don't deserve to be called a baker and that is wrong the moment you bake a cake and someone's had it and someone's loved it call yourself it don't worry nobody's going to judge you and even if they do who cares don't care it's okay call yourself it and call it confidently yeah confidently 
no, 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 no. One second. One eternity later. Okay, so believe in yourself and own your title, okay? I know you got this. So I think that is, that's it. All these were all the mistakes. So if I remember more, I will put them down in the caption. And this is why TCT did not work out. And COVID-19 also shares some of its credit, you know. It came in the middle. And now to answer some of your questions, which might be on some of your minds. How are you, Neha? Are you okay? As you can see, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, I have accepted it now, so it has become easier and I'm totally okay now. But it was a very tough decision to make. And tougher was to, you know, tell people that I am quitting and it is not working out and yeah you know i have been doing it for the 11 years but you know what it still didn't work out anyways and and wherever i go people are like what are you doing how's your business going and be tough shawadi kap kar huh kya karu main mar jao ani pe So these past months were very difficult, you know. I would think that people are looking at me with a failure look like, you know, I was not to do this before. I mean, just look at her, how she's just so loose and all that. And I, I, I used to think that they don't respect me anymore. Or did they used to do it before anyways? Uh, they, that they don't respect me anymore and that they are laughing at my face standing here and they are laughing and uh, it was horrible like really horrible uh, because you know initially when i started uh, there was this uh, water can wale uh, anna who came and uh, i was there in the studio alone and then he was like uh, call your boss i want to talk to him about the water or this thing uh, delivery every day and i was like it's me and he would not agree he was like what you think you can do this huh Huh? He was right, wasn't he? Oh, anyways, so uh, uh, all these things kept happening for the past months. It was very difficult to face people. It still is thoda bahut, but then I'm working towards it and I think I'll get there. It's okay, na? Chik hai, ho gaya. To zindagi rok do kya main? Huh? Jiu nahi main? Ho jati hai yaar galti. Insaan nahi na main? Nahi, aage. So, yeah, so why I felt all this was because I had my insecurities. It was not the people. And uh, I have learned that now. And I want to tell you that please do not attach your identity to one thing. It, your identity is not your business, not your house, not your uh, whatever. No matter. You are the best. You are unique. And you got this. You got life. You're the best. Right? And coming to the next question, what are you going to do now? Ab kya? Matab, kya? Kya? I don't know, yaar. I'm not really sure. But I am fascinated uh, with the entertainment industry, stand-up comedy, content creation. And I think I will begin there. But I'm not sure what I will be doing as a future man. You know? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I don't know. Sleeping in the same bed probably. Okay. So, yeah. I'll be sharing content here and there. So please let me know if you like it. Now how you let me know is your choice. Like you can let me know by liking, sharing, subscribing, saving, commenting, DMing, messaging, meeting, writing me a check for a million dollars. It's your choice. But please let me know how you like it. I really, really, really am grateful that you all were there to support me always. And... Okay, and for the last question, so you won't be baking anymore, kya? I would, but as a passion, as a hobby, I have learnt it a hard way. I have learnt it the hard way. English is really, I'm telling you, yaar, kabhi kabhi it is too much. Malab, grammar pe dhyan do, is pe dhyan do, is pe dhyan do. Feelings ka kya karu main? Uh, so yeah I would uh, but as a passion as a hobby I will not be attaching money to it or running a business from it okay 
okay so if you have any other questions drop them down in the comment section below and i would love to answer them so that's all i think this was also kind of a, a form of a closure for me because uh, it felt like i owe you all an answer maybe i did maybe i didn't but then i felt like it so i did it but it is like that you know uh, that mean uh, which is like uh, you know relationship mein tum rehte ho tab itne sare updates karte rehte ho photos videos and all this and then tumhara breakup ho jata and then you're blank humko to batao humne bhi to invest kiya tha sara time so maine socha main bata deti hu so i did and i hope this helps someone uh, even if it's just one chalega mission successful okay and uh, i think uh, i've said all that i had to don't overthink analyze plan carefully but do not overthink and okay 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 i'll take your leave now uh, that is all i had to say i guess if agar kuch yaad aaya to i'm here only or here only i know you i'll say and i know you'll listen thank you for that thank you for always supporting me thank you uh, i mean i'm very 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 grateful to have each one of you in my life so thank you for always being there and thank you love you goodbye sayonara alvida alvida nahi alvida kehne se phir milne ki ummeed mar jati hai kya pata phir oh you guys are so sweet acha hum hai rahi pyar ke phir milenge chalte chalte theek hai pagle